Boulder is the home rule municipality that is the county seat and the most populous municipality of Boulder County, Colorado, United States. It is the state's 11th most populous municipality. Boulder is located at the base of the foothills of the Rocky Mountains at an elevation of 5430 feet (1655 meters) above sea level. The city is 25 miles 40 kilometers northwest of Denver. The population of the city of Boulder was 97,385 people at the 2010 U.S. Census, while the population of the Boulder, Colorado Metropolitan Statistical Area was 294,567. Boulder is known for its association with gold seekers and for being the home of the main campus of the University of Colorado, the state's largest university. The city frequently receives high rankings in art, health, well-being, quality of life, and education. History On November 7, 1861, legislation was passed making way for the State University to be located in Boulder, and on September 20, 1875, the first cornerstone was laid for the first building, Old Main Building on the CU campus. The university officially opened on September 5, 1877. Boulder adopted an anti saloon ordinance in 1907. Statewide prohibition started in Colorado in 1916 and ended with the repeal of national prohibition in 1933. Demographics As of the 2010 census, there were 97,385 people, 41,302 households, and 16,694 families residing in the city. The population density was 3,942.7 inhabitants per square mile 1,524.0 per square kilometers. There were 43,479 housing units at an average density of 1,760.3 per square miles, 680.4 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 88.0% white, 0.9% black or African American, 0.4% Native American, 4.7% Asian, 0.1% Pacific Islander, 3.2% some other race, and 2.6% from two or more races. 8.7% of the population are Hispanic or Latino of any race. There were 41,302 households, out of which 19.1% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 32.2% were headed by married couples living together, 5.5% had a female householder with no husband present, and 59.6% were non families. 35.8% of all households were made up of individuals, and 7.1% were someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.16, and the average family size was 2.84. Boulder's population is younger than the national average, largely due to the presence of university students. The median age at the 2010 census was 28.7 years compared to the U.S. median of 37.2 years. In Boulder, 13.9% of the residents were younger than the age of 18, 29.1% from 18 to 24, 27.6% from 25 to 44, 20.3% from 45 to 64, and 8.9% were 65 years of age or older. For every 100 females, there were 105.5 males. For every 100 females age 18 and older, there were 106.2 males. In 2011, the estimated median household income in Boulder was $57,112, and the median family income was $113,681. Male full-time workers had a median income of $71,993 versus $47,574 for females. The per capita income for the city was $37,600. 
24.8% of the population and 7.6% of families were below the poverty line. Out of the total population, 17.4% of those under the age of 18 and 6.0% of those 65 and older were living below the poverty line. Boulder housing tends to be priced higher than surrounding areas. For the second quarter of 2006, the median single family home in Boulder sold for $548,000 and the median attached dwelling condo or townhome sold for $262,000. According to the National Association of Realtors, during the same period the median value of one-family homes nationwide was $227,500. The median price of a home exceeded $1 million in July 2016. Geography <laughs> <laughs> The city of Boulder is in Boulder Valley where the Rocky Mountains meet the Great Plains. West of the city are slabs of sedimentary stone tilted up on the foothills, known as the Flatirons. The Flatirons are a widely recognized symbol of Boulder. The primary water flow through the city is Boulder Creek. The creek was named well ahead of the city's founding, for all of the large granite boulders that have cascaded into the creek over the eons. It is from Boulder Creek that Boulder City is believed to have taken its name. Boulder Creek has significant water flow, derived primarily from snow melt and minor springs west of the city. The creek is a tributary of the South Platte River. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 25.7 square miles 66.5 square kilometers. 24.7 square miles, 63.9 square kilometers of it is land and 1.0 square mile, 2.6 square kilometers of it, 3.97% is water. The 40th parallel, 40 degrees north latitude, runs through Boulder and can be easily recognized as baseline road today. Boulder lies in a wide basin beneath Flagstaff Mountain just a few miles east of the Continental Divide and about 25 miles 40 kilometers northwest of Denver. Arapahoe Glacier provides water for the city, along with Boulder Creek, which flows through the center of the city. Denver International Airport is located 45 miles 72 kilometers southeast of Boulder. Topic. Climate Boulder has a temperate climate typical for much of the state and receives many sunny or mostly sunny days each year. Under the Köppen climate classification, the city has a semi-arid climate Köppen BSK. Winter conditions range from generally mild to the occasional bitterly cold, with highs averaging in the mid to upper 40s degree F 7 to 9 degrees Celsius. There are 4.6 nights annually when the temperature reaches 0 degrees Fahrenheit minus 18 degrees Celsius. Because of orographic lift, the mountains to the west often dry out the air passing over the front range, often shielding the city from precipitation in winter, though heavy falls may occur. Snowfall averages 88 inches (220 centimeters) per season, but snow depth is usually shallow. A strong warming sun due to the high elevation can quickly melt snow cover during the day, and Chinook winds bring rapid warm-ups throughout the winter months. Summers are very warm and dry, with 30 days reaching 90 degrees Fahrenheit (32 degrees Celsius) or above. Diurnal temperature variation is typically large year-round due to the high elevation dry climate. Daytime highs are generally cooler than most other front-range cities with similar elevations. However, Boulder's nighttime lows, particularly during winter, are some of the mildest in the state. Daily average temperatures remain above 32 degrees Fahrenheit (0 degrees Celsius) year-round. The highest recorded temperature of 104 degrees Fahrenheit (40 degrees Celsius) occurred most recently within the city on June 25, 2012. The lowest temperature recorded in Boulder was -33 degrees Fahrenheit (-36 degrees Celsius) on January 17, 1930. 
The lowest maximum temperature in Boulder, minus 12 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 24 degrees Celsius, was on February 4, 1989. In contrast, on June 24, 1954, Boulder's overnight low temperature did not drop below 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 27 degrees Celsius. Topic: <laughs> Politics and Government. Boulder is a home rule municipality, being self-governing under Article 20 of the Constitution of the State of Colorado, Title 31 Article 1, Section 202 of the Colorado Revised Statutes. Politically, Boulder is one of the most liberal and democratic cities in Colorado. As of April 2012, registered voters in Boulder County, which includes Boulder's more conservative suburbs, were 41% Democratic, 20% Republican, 1% in other parties, and 38% unaffiliated. By residents and detractors alike, the city of Boulder is often referred to as the People's Republic of Boulder. In 1974, the Boulder City Council passed Colorado's first ordinance prohibiting discrimination based on sexual orientation. Boulder voters, however, repealed the measure by referendum within a year. In 1975, Boulder County Clerk Clella Rorex was the second in the United States ever to grant same-sex marriage licenses, prior to state laws being passed to prevent such issuance. Topic Culture Topic Outdoor Sports Boulder is surrounded by thousands of acres of recreational open space, conservation easements, and nature preserves. Almost 60%, 35,584 acres, 144.00 square kilometers of open space totaling 61,529 acres, 249.00 square kilometers is open to the public. Rock climbing is found near the small unincorporated community of El Dorado Springs, south of Boulder. There are also climbing routes available in the city open space, including climbing routes of varying difficulty on the flatirons themselves traditional protection. Boulder Canyon Sport, directly west of downtown Boulder, also has many routes. All three of these areas are affected by seasonal closures for Wildlife USA Rugby, the national governing body for rugby in the United States, is headquartered in Boulder. Topic: Boulder 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 has hosted a 10 km road run, the Boulder Boulder, on Memorial Day, every year since 1979. The race involves over 50,000 runners, joggers, walkers, and wheelchair racers, making it one of the largest road races in the world. It has the largest non-marathon prize purse in road racing. The race culminates at Folsom Field with a Memorial Day tribute. The 2007 race featured over 54,000 runners, walkers, and wheelchair racers, making it the largest race in the U.S. in which all participants are timed and the fifth largest road race in the world. <laughs> Music Founded in 1958, the Boulder Philharmonic Orchestra is a critically acclaimed professional orchestra that offers dynamic programming under the leadership of its music director Michael Butterman. Founded in 1976 by Giora Bernstein, the Colorado Music Festival presents a summer series of concerts in Chautauqua Auditorium. Topic: <laughs> Dance. Boulder is home to multiple dance companies and establishments. Boulder Ballet was founded by former American ballet theater dancer Larry Boyette in the 1970s as part of the Ballet Arts Studios. Lemon Sponge Cake Contemporary Ballet was founded in 2004 by Robert Shermick Herndl, former principal dancer of the Dutch National Ballet and Bavarian State Ballet.
Topic: Conference on World Affairs. The Conference on World Affairs, started in 1948, is an annual one-week conference featuring dozens of discussion panels on a variety of contemporary issues. Topic: Etown. The internationally syndicated radio program Etown has its headquarters at Etown Hall, at the intersection of 16th and Spruce Streets, in downtown Boulder. Most tapings of this weekly show are done at Etown Hall. <laughs> Polar Bear Plunge Beginning in 1983, hundreds of people head to the Boulder Reservoir on New Year's Day to take part in the annual polar bear plunge. With rescue teams standing by, participants use a variety of techniques to plunge themselves into the freezing reservoir. Once the plunge is complete, swimmers retreat to hot tubs on the reservoir beach to revive themselves from the cold. Naked Pumpkin Run Starting in 1998, dozens of people have taken part in a Halloween run down the city's streets wearing only shoes and a hollowed-out pumpkin on their heads. In 2009, local police threatened participants with charges of indecent exposure and no naked runners were reported in official newscasts, although a few naked runners were observed by locals. Topic 420. For several years, on April 20, thousands of people gathered on the CU Boulder campus to celebrate 420 and smoke marijuana at and before 4:20 p.m. The 2010 headcount was officially between 8,000 and 15,000, with some discrepancy between the local papers and the university administrators, who have been thought to have been attempting to downplay the event. Eleven citations were given out whereas the year before there were only two. 2011 was the last year of mass 420 partying at CU as the university, in 2012, took a hard stance against 420 activities, closing the campus to visitors for the day, using smelly fish fertilizer to discourage gathering at the Norlin Quad, and having out-of-town law enforcement agencies help secure the campus. In 2013, April 20 fell on a Saturday, the university continued the 420 party ban and, again, closed the campus to visitors. In 2015 the government conceded and once again opened the park to visitors on April 20. <laughs> Boulder Cruiser Ride The Boulder Cruiser Ride is a weekly bicycle ride in Boulder, Colorado. The Boulder Cruiser Ride grew from a group of friends and friends of friends riding bicycles around Boulder into an all-out public mob. Some enthusiasts gather wearing costumes and decorating their bikes. Themes are an integral part of the cruiser tradition. Boulder police began following the cruiser ride as it gained in popularity. Issues with underage drinking, reckless bicycle riding, and other nuisance complaints led organizers to drop the cruiser ride as a public event. Returning to an underground format, where enthusiasts must become part of the social network before gaining access to event sites, the Boulder Cruiser Ride has continued as a local tradition. On May 30, 2013 over 400 riders attended the Thursday night cruiser ride in honor of Big Boy. An elk that was shot and killed on New Year's Day by an on-duty Boulder police officer. Topic: Top rankings. Boulder has gathered many top rankings in recent years for health, well-being, quality of life, education, and art. The partial list below shows some of the nominations. The 10 Happiest Cities, Number 1 2011 MoneyWatch.bnet.com Top Brainiest Cities, Number 1 Portfolio.com 
10 Best Cities for the Next Decade, Number 4 Kiplinger's Personal Finance Magazine Gallup Healthways Wellbeing Index, No. 1, 2009, USA Today Best Cities to Raise an Outdoor Kid, No. 1, 2009 Backpacker Magazine America's Top 25 Towns to Live Well, No. 1, 2009 Forbes.com Top 10 Healthiest Cities to Live and Retire, No. 6 AARP Magazine Top 10 Cities for Artists, No. 8 2007 Business Week Lesser Known LGBT Family Friendly Cities, No. 1 2010 WhereGoodKin.com America's Foodiest Town, No. 1 2010 Bon Appetit Magazine Queerest Cities in America 2015 — No. 10 — 2015 Advocate. Com. Topic: Education. Topic: Public schools. The Boulder Valley School District (BVSD) administers the public school system in Boulder. Topic: Charter Schools. Charter schools receiving public funding but under private management within the city of Boulder include Preparatory High School 9 to 12, Summit Middle School 6 to 8, and Horizons Alternative School K8. Topic: Private Schools. A variety of private high schools, middle schools and elementary schools operate in Boulder. Colleges and universities University of Colorado Boulder, public university which contributes roughly 46,000 residents, 30,000 undergraduate students, 7,000 graduate students and 10,000 staff, faculty to the population. Naropa University is a private university based on Buddhist principles. It has approximately 400 undergraduate and over 600 graduate students. August Escoffier School of Culinary Arts a culinary school group with campuses in Boulder and Austin, Texas. Topic: <laughs> Science Institutes. Cooperative Institute for Research in Environmental Sciences, CIRES. Cooperative Institute for Research in the Atmosphere, CIRA. Center for Astrophysics and Space Astronomy CASA Colorado Center for Astrodynamics Research CCAR Institute of Arctic and Alpine Research INSTAAR Joint Institute for Laboratory Astrophysics JILA Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics LASP Geological Society of America headquartered at 3300 Penrose Place National Ecological Observatory Network NEON National Center for Atmospheric Research NCAR University Corporation for Atmospheric Research UCAR National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA Earth System Research Laboratory ESRL National Snow and Ice Data Center NSIDC National Telecommunications and Information Administration NTIA Institute for Telecommunication Sciences Boulder Renewable and Sustainable Energy Institute RASEI Rocky Mountain Institute Southwest Research Institute Department of Space Studies Space Science Institute Space Weather Prediction Center SWPC UNAVCO National Science Foundation's Geodetic Facility United States Geological Survey USGS Topic Economy and Industry 
The Boulder MSA had a gross metropolitan product of $18.3 billion in 2010, the 110th largest metropolitan economy in the United States. In 2007, Boulder became the first city in the United States to levy a carbon tax. In 2013, Boulder appeared on Forbes magazine's list of best places for business and careers. Topic Transportation Since Boulder has operated under residential growth control ordinances since 1976, the growth of employment in the city has far outstripped population growth. Considerable road traffic enters the city each morning and leaves each afternoon, since many employees live in Longmont, Lafayette, Louisville, Broomfield, Westminster, and Denver. Boulder is served by US 36 and a variety of state highways. Parking regulations in Boulder have been explicitly designed to discourage parking by commuters and to encourage the use of mass transit, with mixed results. Over the years, Boulder has made significant investments in the multimodal network. The city is now well known for its grade-separated bicycle and pedestrian paths, which are integrated into a network of bicycle lanes, cycle tracks, and on-street bicycle routes. Boulder also provides a community transit network that connects downtown, the University of Colorado campuses, and local shopping amenities. While the city has no rail transit, local and regional shuttle buses are funded by a variety of sources. Due in part to these investments in pedestrian, bicycle, and transit infrastructure, Boulder has been recognized both nationally and internationally for its transportation system. In 2009, the Boulder Metropolitan Statistical Area (MSA) ranked as the fourth highest in the United States for percentage of commuters who bike to work, 5.4%. In 2013, the Boulder MSA ranked as the fourth lowest in the United States for percentage of workers who commuted by private automobile 71.9%. During the same time period, 11.1% of Boulder area workers had no commute whatsoever, they worked out of the home. <laughs> <laughs> Mass transit. Boulder has an extensive bus system operated by the Regional Transportation District RTD. The hop, skip, jump, bound, dash and stampede routes run throughout the city and connect to nearby communities with departures every 10 minutes during peak hours, Monday to Friday. Other routes, such as the 204, 205, 206, 208 and 209 depart every 15 to 30 minutes. Regional routes, traveling between nearby cities such as Longmont Bolt, J, Golden GS, and Denver Flatiron Flyer, a bus rapid transit route, as well as Denver International Airport AB, are also available. There are over 100 scheduled daily bus trips on seven routes that run between Boulder and Denver on weekdays. Topic: <laughs> Future transit plans. A 41-mile RTD commuter rail route called the Northwest Rail Line is proposed to run from Denver through Boulder to Longmont, with stops in major communities along the way. The Boulder station is to be north of Pearl Street and east of 30th Street. At one time this commuter rail service was scheduled to commence in 2014, but major delays have ensued. In 2016, an initial six-mile segment opened, reaching from downtown Denver to southern Westminster at West 71st Avenue and Federal Boulevard. The remaining 35 miles of the Northwest Rail Line is planned to be completed by 2044. Depending upon funding, these future transit plans, as well as the current Flatiron Flyer bus rapid transit route, are part of FastTracks, an RTD transit improvement plan funded by a 0.4% increase in the sales tax throughout the Denver metro area. RTD, the developer of Fast Tracks, is partnering with the city of Boulder to plan a transit-oriented development near Pearl and 33rd Streets in association with the proposed Boulder commuter rail station. 
The development is to feature the Boulder Railroad Depot, already relocated to that site, which may be returned to a transit-related use. Cycling Boulder, well known for its bicycle culture, boasts hundreds of miles of bicycle pedestrian paths, lanes, and routes that interconnect to create a renowned network of bikeways usable year-round. Boulder has 74 bike and pedestrian underpasses that facilitate safer and uninterrupted travel throughout much of the city. The city offers a route finding website that allows users to map personalized bike routes around the city. In May 2011, B Cycle Bike Sharing opened in Boulder with 100 red bikes and 12 stations. Topic: <laughs> Airport Boulder Municipal Airport is located 3 miles kilometers from central Boulder, is owned by the City of Boulder and is used exclusively for general aviation, with most traffic consisting of single-engine airplanes and glider aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> Growth management Government preservation of open space around Boulder began with the Congress of the United States approving the allocation of 1,800 acres (7.3 square kilometers) of mountain backdrop watershed extending from South Boulder Creek to Sunshine Canyon in 1899. Since then, Boulder has adopted a policy of controlled urban expansion. In 1959, city voters approved the Blue Line. City Charter Amendment which restricted city water service to altitudes below 5,750 feet 1,750 meters, in an effort to protect the mountain backdrop from development. In 1967, city voters approved a dedicated sales tax for the acquisition of open space in an effort to contain urban sprawl. In 1970, Boulder created a comprehensive plan that would dictate future zoning, transportation, and urban planning decisions. Hoping to preserve residents' views of the mountains, in 1972, the city enacted an ordinance limiting the height of newly constructed buildings. A historic preservation code was passed in 1974, and a residential growth management ordinance the Danish Plan in 1976. Effective growth management has resulted in rapid appreciation of housing values with the median home price rising 60% over the period 2010-2015 to $648,200. Topic. Wildlife protection The City of Boulder has created an Urban Wildlife Management Plan which sets policies for managing and protecting urban wildlife. Also, the city's Parks and Recreation and Open Space and Mountain Parks Departments have volunteers who monitor parks including wetlands, lakes, etc. to protect ecosystems. From time to time, parks and hiking trails are closed to conserve or restore ecosystems. Traditionally, Boulder has avoided the use of chemical pesticides for controlling the insect population. However, with the threat of West Nile virus, the city began an integrative plan to control the mosquito population in 2003 that includes chemical pesticides. Residents can opt out of the program by contacting the city and asking that their areas not be sprayed. Under Boulder law, extermination of prairie dogs requires a permit. Also in 2005, the city experimented with using goats for weed control in environmentally sensitive areas. Goats naturally consume diffuse knapweed and Canada thistle, and although the program was not as effective as it was hoped, goats will still be considered in the future weed control projects. In 2010, goats were used to keep weeds under control at the Boulder Reservoir. The city's Open Space and Mountain Parks Department manages approximately 8,000 acres of protected forest land west of the city in accordance with a 1999 Forest Ecosystem Management Plan. 
The plan aims to maintain or enhance native plant and animal species, their communities, and the ecological processes that sustain them and to reduce the wildfire risk to forest and human communities. Media Boulder's main daily newspaper, The Daily Camera, was founded in 1890 as the Weekly Boulder Camera, and became a daily newspaper the following year. The Colorado Daily was started in 1892 as a university newspaper for CU Boulder. Following many heated controversies over Colorado Daily's political coverage, it severed its ties to the university in 1971. In summer 1996, the Boulder Planet, a free weekly competing with the Boulder Weekly, published its first issue. It ceased publication in February 2000. Newspaper conglomerate Scripps acquired the Colorado Daily in 2005 after its acquisition of the camera in 1997, leaving the Boulder Weekly as the only locally owned newspaper in Boulder. Scripps relinquished its 50% ownership in both daily papers in early 2009 to Media News Group. Boulder Magazine, a lifestyle magazine, was founded in 1978. Boulder Magazine is published three times per year. Boulder is part of the Denver market for television stations, and it also receives many radio stations based in Denver or Feet. Collins. For cable television, Boulder is served by Comcast Cable. The city operates public service Boulder 8 TV on cable high and standard definition, which airs, live streams and archives council meetings, with its in-house video production facilities, it also produces news, talk and informational programming. Over-the-air television reception is poor in the western part of the city because of interference from mountains. Non-commercial community radio station KGNU was founded in 1978 and commercial music station KBCO in 1977. KBCO programs an adult album alternative format and is owned and operated by iHeartMedia. KBCO moved its studios from Boulder to the Denver Tech Center in 2010 but still maintains the Boulder license and transmits from atop El Dorado Mountain south of Boulder. KVCU, also known as Radio 1190, is another non commercial radio station run with the help of university student volunteers. KVCU started broadcasting in 1998. NPR programming is heard over KCFC 1490 AM, operated by Colorado Public Radio, and simulcasting Denver station KCFR 90.1. The University of Colorado Press, a non-profit co-op of various Western universities, publishes academic books. Paladin Press Book, Video Publishers and Soldier of Fortune magazine both have their headquarters in Boulder. Paladin Press was founded in September 1970 by Pedder Lund and Robert K. Brown. In 1974, Lund bought out Brown's share of the press, and Brown moved on to found Soldier of Fortune magazine the following year. Notable people. Notable births in Boulder Jello Biafra, Dead Kennedy's frontman Tony Bozelli, five-time Pro Bowl offensive tackle Arlie Burke, United States Navy Admiral and Chief of Naval Operations Scott Carpenter, Project Mercury astronaut Kristen Davis, Sex and the City actress John Fante, writer Matt Hasselbeck, three-time Pro Bowl quarterback Chuck Pargano, former Indianapolis Colts head coach Jared Polis, governor of Colorado The notable residents Albert Allen Bartlett, emeritus professor of physics, frequent lecturer on the dangers of compound growth, and one of the principal backers of the Blue Line in the late 1950s Bill Bauer, the last surviving pilot who took part in the Doolittle Raid, resided in Boulder from 1966 until his death in 2011 Carrie Ingalls Little House on the Prairie moved to Boulder in 1905 and stayed until 1906, in hope of that the local climate would help improve her health. 
Chief Niwot or Left Hand, a tribal leader of the Arapaho, lived at the site of Boulder. Niwot and his war party rode to a nearby settler's camp whereupon he pronounced his legendary curse. People seeing the beauty of this valley will want to stay, and their staying will be the undoing of the beauty." Kimball Musk, American entrepreneur, philanthropist, and restaurateur Phil Platt, the bad astronomer, astronomer, skeptic, writer and popular science blogger John Burnett Ramsey, when she was murdered in December 1996 the made-for-TV movie Perfect Murder, Perfect Town, John Burnett and the City of Boulder, based on the book of the same title, released in 2000, dramatized the investigation into the murder, and was filmed on location in Boulder. Larry Sellers, actor, has been living in the town. Leon White, a professional wrestler, although not born in Boulder, was an offensive lineman for the Colorado Buffaloes football team in the 1970s. Evans Woolen III (1927–2016), architect, originally from Indianapolis, Indiana. Topic: Shopping. One of the most popular sections of Boulder is the famous Pearl Street Mall, home to numerous shops and restaurants. This four-block pedestrian mall is a social hotspot in Boulder, with dozens of restaurants of all kinds and specialty stores that include artisan shops and unique gadget shops. In the summer and on weekends, many street shows and acts can be found throughout the mall, along with street vendors and henna tattoo artists. Boulder's traditional downtown area, including the Pearl Street Mall, is in the western part of present-day Boulder. During the 1950s and 1960s, the city grew to the east, since the west side is bounded by the foothills. Downtown is host to a variety of restaurants, bars, and boutique stores. However, it has few grocery, hardware, or department stores and is therefore more of a shopping destination than a neighborhood with stores supporting the local population. South of Pearl Street and adjacent to the CU Boulder campus is another historic shopping center, The Hill. Featuring some of the city's landmark stores and venues, such as albums on The Hill and the Fox Theater, The Hill has been the center of college life for many of the nearby sororities and fraternities. The 29th Street Retail District opened in October 2006, located in central Boulder on the site of the former Crossroads Mall, east of downtown. Near the Pearl Street Mall the Farmer's Market opens every Saturday morning and Wednesday evening, April through October on 13th Street next to Central Park. The market was started in 1986 by regional farmers. <laughs> <laughs> Sister cities Boulder has eight official sister cities. Dushanbe, Tajikistan, since May 8, 1987. Jalapa, Nicaragua. Lhasa, Tibet Autonomous Region, China, since 1987. Ciudad Mante, Tamaulipas, Mexico. Yamagata City, Japan, since 1994. Yatiris, Cuba. Kasumu, Kenya. Nablus, Palestine since 2016. Ramat Negev Regional Council, Israel since 2018. Landmarks representing Boulder's connection with its various sister cities can be found throughout the city. Boulder's sister city plaza, dedicated on May 17, 2007 is located on the east lawn of Boulder's municipal building. The plaza was built to honor all of Boulder's sister city relationships. The Dushanbe Tea House is located on 13th Street just south of the Pearl Street Mall. Dushanbe presented its distinctive tea house as a gift to Boulder in 1987. It was completed in Tajikistan in 1990, then shipped to Boulder where it was reassembled and opened to the public in 1998. A mural representing the relationship between Boulder and Mante, Mexico was dedicated in August 2001. 
The mural, which was painted by Mante muralist Florian Lopez, is located on the north-facing wall of the Dairy Center for the Performing Arts. Topic in popular culture Woody Allen's film Sleeper 1973 was filmed on location in Boulder. Some houses and the Mesa Laboratory of the National Center for Atmospheric Research, designed by I. M. Pei, were used in the film. Boulder was a setting for Stephen King's book The Stand 1978, as the gathering point for some of the survivors of the superflu. King lived in Boulder for a little less than a year, beginning in the autumn of 1974, and wrote The Shining 1977. during this period. The television sitcom Mork and Mindy 1978 was set in Boulder, with 1619 Pine Street serving as the exterior shot of Mindy's home. The New York Deli, a restaurant in the Pearl Street Mall, was also featured prominently in the series. In the American version of the television sitcom The Office, the character Michael Scott leaves the show in season 7 and moves with his fiancée to Boulder. See also Outline of Colorado Index of Colorado-related articles State of Colorado Colorado cities and towns Colorado municipalities Colorado counties Boulder County, Colorado Colorado metropolitan areas Front Range Urban Corridor North Central Colorado Urban Area Denver Aurora Boulder Colorado Combined Statistical Area Boulder Colorado Metropolitan Statistical Area 2013 Colorado Floods